Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are here with the discussion of singular and plural noun and this video is uh, made by how to teach. Brainstorming exercise here. You can see here exercise A and I am reading the question for you. We write this poem changing the singular noun in bold print into the plural form. Make sure the subject and verb as well as the determiners agree with each other. Right now in the poem you can see some uh, nouns are written in bold form. All those nouns are singular and we will rewrite this poem by changing these singular noun into plural. So what would be plural of these noun? Let's see here. The title of the poem is A Lazy Day and the um, poem is Have you ever spent an hour gazing at a flower, listening to a bee buzzing round a tree, spying on a tiny ant, struggling up a glossy plant, stroking a sleek dog, watching a green frog, then come with me, it's fun, we'll see. Now in the first line you can see R is singular, in second one flower is singular, in third one B and B and flower you can see written with a determiner or article a right. So now we will change. Have you ever spent an R? An R singular noun. N is showing that R is singular. So what would be plural of R? R's. Right? And obviously you will cross here N too. Because we don't write N R's. N is used just with singular noun. So R's. You will cut N here. In second one, gazing at a flower. So that would be flowers. Right? Now you can see a uh, is omitted here automatically. So you will do the same with the first one line. You will cut off the an. Listening to a bee. Listening to bees. Buzzing round a tree. Trees. Spying on a tiny ant. A tiny ant. This is singular. And a would be uh, you can change into some if you want right because uh, uh, determiners we need to change with the noun some tiny ants then struggling up a glossy plant you can change that some glossy plants stroking a sleek dog some sleek dogs watching a green frog some green frogs then come with me it's fun you will see now you can see that leaving the first one line and ours and is here and you will cut that off right and rest all are corrected for you now we will move toward the next one slide now this is b exercise and according to that, read the poem and underline all the plural nouns that ends in IES. This is a rule. And you can see in the corner that we have um, grammar help here. That if we have Y in the end of any singular noun and we want to make that plural, then what we will do, we will just change that Y into I and we will add ES over there. So what we will do with this exercise, we will do the same. We will first of all, we will find uh, all the nouns ending in IES. Then what we will do, we will write their singular form above their plural noun. So question, questions, questions. Right, this is the title of this poem. Because you can see that all the um, lines or verses are ended here uh, with questions. So, will those white-footed bunnies eat all of my berries? Can ladies and babies eat large, ripe red cherries? How many canaries fly in the blue skies? 
and when gypsies tell fortunes do they tell you white lies do puppies like guppies do fairies like berries oh please want you please want you answer my queries now in first one line will those white footed bunnies eat all of my berries easily you can find out the words ended in i e s and those are yes correct first one is bunnies and second one is berries in second one line yes you are right these are ladies and babies good and one more you have here that is good cherries now in third one line how many canaries fly in the blue yes good skies canaries small uh, sparrows you can uh, say them right and when gypsies tell fortunes do they tell you white lies lies also ended in i e s here right in next one line good puppies and guppies and i think you have uh, more here yes good fairies and dairies if any you have oh please want you please want you answer my queries so these all are plural noun ended on ies now what we will do we will change them into singular so what we will do to change them singular what we did uh, when we add ies when we have y in the end it's mean what we will do simply here we will um, uh, cross these ies and write in place of them these letters y for example bunnies that would be simply bunny this is singular right and second one berries what would be singular of berries berry yes good p e w r y good and ladies simply that would be lady next one is babies simply baby then cherries simply cherry then canaries simply canary then skies simply sky then gypsies gypsy then lies acha about lies this is special here right singular of lies is lie ended in ie right and you can see that uh, that was written with red it's mean i will explain you later about that this is special in the poem then you have puppies simply puppy then guppies simply guppy then fairies simply fairy then dairies simply dairy dairies and dairy and last one queries simply query right now come on lies lie this is special here right and did on i e s but when we will write singular that will not be l y singular of lies is lie l i e now we will move towards the next slide this is c and the question is write the plural forms of these singular nouns first one is igloo and what is plural of igloo you will add here just s right spelling help you can sorry spelling rule and grammar help you can read here in the corner sometime we need to add just s sometime es sometime we need to change some um, letter 
for example y we change into i then we add e s if you have uh, any singular noun ended on f or f e then you change that f into v then you add e s so you can read here grammar help here so igloo ended on o but we will add here simple s double o because this is so we will add here as simply then volcano you can write either added with s or es right you can form the plural either add s or es both would be right and, um, uh, next is flamingo the same rule will be followed right you can add here either s or es avocado here you will add just s with here avocado is zero either could be added s or es life ended on f e so we will change f into v first and then we will add es lives puff that would be puffs double f because so you will add here just s here chief chiefs right we don't change f into v here and um, uh, i don't think we will change that into v at all just s you will add here cliff cliffs usually with the double f uh, what we do we add simple s scarf both rule you can uh, follow here you can add here s or es then thief you will change f into v then you will add es then dwarf both could be do here either you can add just s dwarfs or you can change that f into v then you can add es dwarfs right so spelling according to the spelling you will read the grammar rule then you will uh, do the exercise now let's start do exercise d and according to that the following list shows the items that kim and her sister plan to take on their camping trip and the number in each case the items in bold print are nouns usually used in the plural form but there are other nouns that are always plural underline these nouns the first one is done for you grammar help you can read here and you know that uh, uh, clothing articles we usually use in plural form besides them some tools we use always in plural form usually uh, i'm giving you a simple idea the things that have um uh, those have two parts those we usually use plural always plural for example uh, jeans two part we have two legs because that's why we always uh, use that as plural jeans right and this is done for you next one we will do here what is next one um things to bring um, i think uh, is given here right so jeans after jeans uh, what could be uh, shorts right shorts uh, usually children uh, put on that and because it has two pairs that's why that could be the noun which we always use plural shorts next one is pajamas right the same thing jeans shorts pajamas we used to wear mm, mm, below the waist right now sandals easily you can find them out right then you have socks right and after that sunglasses because we have two eyes and we need to put uh, the sunglasses um, on our two eyes that's why mm, this uh, is always used as plural now next is tent no need to use as plural then lamps no need to and sleeping bags no need to then sheets no need to then pliers you have seen this is a tool right and pliers pliers we use as plural here then 
binoculars then goggles after that plastic plates cups balls tongs i think among these all which i uh, read for you tongs could be because tongs it has two parts that's why chopsticks the same case box of matches and scissors scissors box of matches and scissors which one um, i will underline yes good scissors because it has two parts now we will move towards the next slide and this is easy one size for the nouns in bold print and those you have underlined in the list above write the numbers required by kim and her sister for example genes um opposite to genes you have seen written two it's mean they need two pairs of genes because we are adding here pairs pairs is plural that's why sorry two is more than one that's why we will use here pairs right and i think uh, you can do that yourself if you will read um, uh, the grammar help if you will add number 1 then you will use pair if you will use more than one then you will use pairs simple and then you can do easily that exercise yourself so this is uh, so now start our exercise e and in the exercise we will circle the correct words in the brackets to complete the sentences below now you will find in the sentences the words which we always use as plural or if we want to make uh, the singular of those um, fixed plural nouns then we will use pair of right so uh, now we will use here helping verb or auxiliary with them so the noun which we always use as plural obviously we will use with them um, are right or but if you will find pair before that then according to the pair you will use uh, singular noun or plural noun you will decide right so let's just start reading first one i'm reading for you my trousers very creased so i will put on pair of jeans my trousers now according to the trousers what you will use is or are good you will use are because trousers this is plural my trousers are very creased so i will put on pair of jeans now jeans is plural but pair is here so then you will use this pair of jeans right second one that says that is binoculars dash very useful binoculars is or are what you will use here yes good because binocular is plural so binoculars are very useful on a nature walk third one i would like dash pair of sandals now pair of sandals is written here right sandals is obviously plural but pair is deciding here the use of helping verb here so we will use this because this pair of sandals that do not have any buckles on them right buckles on them according to the sandals we have used here next one is a pair of these goggles now you can see because pair so a uh, we have used here a uh, always is used with singular a pair of these goggles now according to the pair because this is singular so what we uh, uh, sorry verb what uh, verb you will use here cost or costs uh, if you uh, have remembered grammar rule for uh, simple present tense then easily you can do that right because subject is singular that's why we will use plural verb here right a pair of these goggles costs 20 dollar but those two pairs now pairs here and two plural at uh, $30 dash better value for many according to to the two pairs you will use here are right two pairs are deciding here that these are uh, plural that's why you will use here are with that next one is a pair of plants a pair of plants 
dash good enough for a pair of plus is showing here singular so you will use here is good enough for this job but scissors dash not scissors because now plural that's why are hope you have understood all the things and uh, inshallah taala in our next class Uh, we will work on the noun and singular and plural more till that thank you for watching this video and allah hafiz